making a decision when there is no urgency is proactive planning. Reasons beyond, um, you know, being young and healthy, et cetera, why people don't want to make a decision to get their affairs in order. I think for a lot of people, and that would be me included, I'm a fact finder. I want to know everything before I make a decision. Well, that's kind of getting the events out of order. If you make a decision, you're making a decision to get your legal documents in place. That is the only the decision that has to make. You don't have to know everything. You don't have to know, well, I think I'll need a will or I'll need a trust and I'll need this and I'll need that. Unless you are an estate planning and elder law attorney yourself, you can't know all that there is to know about what your legal documents will look like. So that is a later step in the process. The first step is to make the decision. And I would say that, you know, whenever our brains are confronted with all sorts of choices and it seems complex, you know, human nature is just to say, I'm not going to make any decision. I'm not going to do anything. So that's why I want to point out to you that the complexities of the estate planning process, that is something that comes that you will we'll talk about, but that is after you've made the decision, simply make the decision that I want to have an estate plan. I will get my affairs in order. It's all you need to do. You don't need to do anything more than that. The first, the most important step is to affirmatively say to yourself, I will get my affairs in order. Once you've made that decision, everything else will much more easily fall into place. Mm -hmm.